friends in this video we are going to learn about our creepy crawly friends EBS class 3 what we will learn we will learn about insects worms reptiles and spiders and their features where they live useful creatures harmful creatures how to control the harmful creatures from spreading Insects. Insects are very small creatures that are commonly found around us. Some creatures can fly with their wings. Example Cockroach, Butterfly, Housefly, Mosquito, Honeybee and Dragonfly. Insects. Insects. But some insects don't have wings so they hop or jump on the ground. Example Grasshopper, Cricket, Locust. Stick insect, leaf insect. Feature features of insects. An insect has six legs. Example: When you see a cockroach, you can observe that it has six legs. Its body is divided into three parts: the head, thorax, and abdomen. It has a pair of antenna to sense and feel the things around. It doesn't have a bone, a bone, but has a hard covering. Body parts of a insect head. So, insects use their antenna to feel the to sense what is happening around them. Second body part, the abdomen. The abdomen is where the the insect's other body parts are found. Its head is contains its eyes and eyes and mouth. Thorax. The thorax is a part of the chest in, of an insect. Butterflies and moths. Butterfly and moth look look similar, but they are butterflies and moth. I I was initially I was initially confused that butterflies and moth look similar but now i know there are many changes in butterfly and moth butterfly have colorful wings moth has but moth has gray or brown color wings butterflies fly during day you can see many butterflies flying during day moth flies but you can see moth flying during evening or night Butterflies open and close their wings vertically, but moths keep their wings open. Worms. Worms are also small creatures that do not have any bones. Example, earthworm, slug, caterpillar, silkworm and snail are examples of worm. Parts, body parts of a worm. So here you can see there are some these are some segments that contain a pair of legs the legs are used the uh, the the worms use their legs for moving forward and they use their eyes to see yeah to see features of worms Worms body is like a long tube. So I think you have seen many long tubes around your house. Just like that, worms look like a long tube. It is divided into many parts called segments. So I explained you in the before this page that uh, the segments has uh, a pair of legs. Each segment has a pair of legs. They crawl or walk or swim with their legs or body they have a pair of simple eyes reptiles reptiles are the creature with four legs or limbs and have a backbone and have a backbones garden lizard iguana chameleon yellow headed gecko house lizard and forest lizard are some examples of reptiles Body parts of a reptile. So, the 
There are three body parts of a raptor. Their legs, eyes, they use their eyes to see and their long legs or limbs to walk and they have a long tail. That and they have a long tail. Features of a reptile. Reptiles have four legs or limbs. It has got a very sticky and long tongue. It helps them to catch their food without moving from their place. Chameleon can change its color to match the surrounding. It helps it to hide from its enemies. It is it is called as camouflage. <laughs> Spiders. Spiders are neither insects, worms, nor reptiles. <laughs> Spiders are neither insects, worms, nor reptiles. So, what are they? Yes, they are arthropods. They creep with their four legs. They creep with their eight legs. <laughs> so, spiders can build webs like, for example, like these two spiders. They are building their nest. <laughs> they are building their nest. So, there are two types of spiders. The common spiders that we see in our house and tarantulas that we see in our the, the tarantulas that we can see in the forests. Features of spiders. Spiders have eight legs. Its body is divided into two parts. Their, their body is divided into two parts. So when you see a spider, you can see that its body is divided into two parts. There are tiny holes. The tiny holes on the back of the of a spider's body. It gives out a liquid that forms a sticky thread to make a web. It makes a web to catch any other insect. So I think you have many of you can see many webs around your house. Yes, they are made by spiders. Insects get stuck into the web when it comes when it comes near the and spy. When it comes near and spiders follows it. Where these creatures live? Insects, worms, reptiles are found everywhere. They are mostly found in houses, gardens, on plants, in soil and in water bodies. I think you have seen in your garden house, in your house and garden that there are many insects. There are many insects in your house and garden. I think you have seen some. They hide themselves in cracks, nooks and corner of the houses as they are scared of lizards and humans. Some insects are scared of lizards and humans. So they hide so they hide in cracks, nooks and corner of the houses. Cockroaches are mostly Cockroaches mostly come out at night and called and are called nocturnal insects. Nocturnal insects are the insects that that wake up, that creep that are that creep in that are active at night. Worms, insects, reptiles are useful. Honeybee gives us honey. Everyone, and you have seen that honeybee gives us honey. We get silk from silkworms to make clothes. Earthworm dig the soil and make it more fertile. <coughs> fertile lizards eat insects and flies. It's like this, like this lizard is eating a. Like this lizard is eating a mosquito. <laughs> Harmful worms and insects. Harmful worms, insects and reptiles. A bite of a wasp, wasp can be is can be and be is called a sting. The parts where the sting gets swollen a lot. 
when they sting us it is very painful like here like here this this man is got stung by a wasp germs get stuck to their legs when they sit on the garbage so when insects sit on the garbage the the germs get stuck to their <coughs> germs get stuck to their legs when they sit on the garbage so many insects sit on the garbage and the germs get stuck to their legs when these flies sit on our food the germs settle down on our food and we get sick when we eat the, this food so when the when the flies or any insects come and sit on our food and when the, we eat that food we get sick flies spread disease like the diarrhea diarrhea cholera and food poisoning mosquitoes spread due to standing water like rain water in any container puddles swamps lakes and drainage they cause disease by biting people malaria dengue and chiku and chikungunya are the diseases caused by mosquito bites <laughs> controlling flies and mosquitoes by keeping our homes and surrounding clean by throwing garbage in covered bins by cleaning the standing water collecting near homes in containers and covering the drainage lines by spraying anti mosquito fro fox we can control the flies and mosquitoes thank you for thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe bye